welcome to another vlog. We're in Houston with Gio, with Alphalete for the week. Um, we're doing the birthday campaign. I actually, do you think I'm gonna be able to post this next Sunday? The birthday sale looks 24th. like it's gonna be 24th. For the first time ever. I think this is a, I mean, I've not been with them, oh, well, to be fair, it's not the first time ever. They used to do stuff like this, didn't they? They used to take people like. They, before COVID before covid but basically for the first time since me and geo have been with them they've flown everyone out you might have seen that they've recently like changed how they do athletes and affiliates and stuff and basically it means that they're going to be able to do more stuff like this and more trips for us and more like team bonding so it's basically a week of shoots and doing campaign stuff for the birthday sale and basically bonding which is going to be nice because i feel like being in england it's really sometimes you just feel a bit removed from things you know so i'm gonna vlog the week i'll show you what i can yeah so we got here yesterday geo actually missed her connection flight and had to get another one an hour later Iconic. i will never do a connection flight in the us again and not because i'm being a princess and i'm like <laughs> direct only no that is not I, like, I don't have an issue with connection flights but the way that i think actually to be fair i think they do it the same in the uk if you're flying in internationally having to clear security and customs and get, get your bag and recheck your bag an hour and 40 minutes is not enough for that geo missed a connection i got mine but by the skin of my teeth i got mine so we came here yesterday got here super super late we've just moved to the hotel that we're going to be in for the week because we were in another one last night and now i think we're going to go to jupiter's we are going to jupiter's we're for going breakfast. to jupiter's for breakfast geo's yeah. gonna show me i'll show you the food i think we're gonna scroll Proper southern Brecky. Get some tan because I'm looking ghostly, ghostly pale. But yeah, I think everyone else comes today. So welcome to the vlog. Gio, what did you get? The homestead. It's like eggs benedict on a waffle. And I went sweet. So yeah, we are at our first photo shoot. It's actually Gio's first shoot. She's excited. Um, we didn't actually, what did we do yesterday? We trained, but I didn't want to film my training because I looked like a Victorian child, didn't have any tan on, looked unwell. And then we went shopping. to Bar Louis. And we, we drank some food. Oh, did we film when we went? We went, to, I went, I filmed a little bit of shopping. I think we went to Ulta, we went to Target. We went to Carver for a salad bowl. And yeah, and now it's Monday. So we've started the working week. We're gonna be so it's, busy, you guys. It's absolutely it's, slammed. Don't think we're gonna be led on our backs. <laughs> Yeah. Shout out to Kieran. It's not, um, Kieran said it's not a holiday, guys. It's not, it's not a holiday, guys. It's not a holiday. We've literally got like an hour of shooting each day, but it's photos today, video tomorrow. But I'm glad I'm with you today because I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared. What's that face for? That's a big ass lens. That is a big lens. Um, yeah. Gia. She's got new amplify on. I didn't film anything yesterday, guys, but we didn't do much. I'll fill you in later. She's got, there's like three greens. There's this one, this one, and then like a bright green, which is insanely see-through, but God, she looks so good. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> How are you? Who's big ass lens? I want to see what that lens looks like from behind. No, it's a 1535. Oh, why is it so big? Why is it so big? That's it's, uh, what she said. <laughs> it's just the canon. For all the shoes, guys. If you've ever wondered how they do shoes, they've got like multiple of the same pair in different sizes. But I'm keeping mine on. I'm shooting in Aura bikers. I'm just doing old stuff and a crop hoodie. I'm gonna zoom in. We've got some t-shirts. The fabric feels really nice. Thank you. 
out to the day a nigga Lee Earth Supreme canvas pants, skid roll on the t-shirt All these hatin' niggas sweet and make your teeth hurt Last one standing, and I know they mad that we first Out of sight, still residing on the south side But it's still love for the north, I was outside Stand on the bitch, tell her jump, she say how high I hope I move walk you so a nigga had to downsize I'ma rock out to the day a nigga Lee Earth Supreme gone. canvas pants, skid roll on the t-shirt All these hatin' niggas sweet and make your teeth hurt Last one standing and I know they mad that we first Out of sight, still residing on the south side on the south But it's side. still love for the north, I was outside, outside. Stand on the bitch, tell her jump, she say hi, hi and Homie move walkie so a nigga had to downsize Expect you to understand, I think different like an apple ad, need a hundred grand. I could care less about the thoughts of another man. The niggas stretch the truth, just a pot like a rubber band. I'm authentic, I'm all in it. They keeping tabs like they bartending. Watching moves in South still and got a small village. A tight tribe, been trust in my mind's eye. You got a car for you walk, but nigga, this time flies, money talks. And trust me, I've been through them silent nights. Now we hold the conversations with Ben Franklin. On the flight While we glide across the nation New location overnight All we do is live at night Get fly, get high Get drunk, then drive My little TikTok reel vlog That I did of um, this day of shooting Just because, like I said I think I said it after this bit But I struggled to film for YouTube And for my like TikTok vlog this day So me and Gio got ready in the morning For day one of shooting By the way, whenever I'm doing my makeup for shoots I always put on a little bit more than I usually would um, Yeah, this is me just getting ready And then these were the goodie bags that they left in our room Oh, this is the best flavour of 3D We then hopped in an Uber And the Uber driver was hilarious Like, so funny I was actually cracking up as we can see Then we got to the shoot There's Gio running off They gave us food We had Chick-fil-A um and then it was time to head into the photo shoot so this is a photo shoot room everyone's stuff these were the sets it's like a vintage theme for like the ninth birthday some of the new pieces geo's in new i'm in old this is just old aura but we reshot it um so they could get new content with it and again keeping with the retro vibes we've all signed the wall um and yeah just chitty chatting in between shots good vibes the puppy oh my god kirby and justin brought their dog in she's so cute then we did our little group shenanigans at the end and uh yeah then it was time to go home and that was the day i've not vlogged in ages we've finished Guys, i really have to be shooting does anyone want to say hi to the vlog yeah. hi. that's karen wait I that's be sam that's christine i am amy Duke. No. Gia, no. Brits, oh, Brit crew. Do you remember the YouTube Brit crew, the original crew? Yeah. Zoe, Zoe Sug, Alfie Days were basically so the fitness well. version of that. <laughs> Don't say that now, you're on camera. I just realized I didn't show you all the VIP room earlier, so. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's left now, and they've also left. It was nice earlier. They're mess. <laughs> but yeah, I think I've already shown this in a vlog actually, but this is the. VIP area where you can come and sit. They've got games like round here. They had all the food there earlier. I might actually pop in my like voiceover vlog I'm gonna do of my shoot day. But yeah, and then they've got the candy wall over there, which is everyone's favorite. Fave. Hello, I'm not sure exactly what I filmed yesterday because I feel like I was trying to do a like real slash TikTok vlog yesterday and I didn't realize how difficult it is to do this and that at the same time so today we're doing video shoots and I'm going to prioritize vlogging for you guys more but we did photo shoots yesterday um reshooting some old stuff so some of the clips are like me and Aura and then new stuff for the birthday sale so I will put like some pictures in of everything that I have seen. I will probably collect, 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 wrong word, more pictures over the next few days and I'll pop some pictures in here of stuff that's dropping for the birthday sale. But whenever they have like a sale period, they'll shoot the new stuff, but they'll also reshoot old stuff that they want to like have fresh content for. So that is like a mixture of what we were doing yesterday. I think pretty much everyone did a mix. Um, but yeah, it's new contour for the birthday sale. There's a really bright green. It's sheer as hell. Like, 
honestly like the waistband is a completely almost different colour to the rest of the leg. It's that see-through. It reminds me of Frozen Spring but worse. It's a really nice colour though which is such a shame but I don't know how wearable that's going to be for me. I didn't get to try it on. I tried on like the yellowy sort of toned less bright green that's a bit like willow but i don't think it's the exact same because i don't like willow but i liked that on me I feel like that one was a little bit brighter than willow was willow was quite i didn't really like that color on me but yes welcome to another day today's tuesday like i said we're doing video today i'm not with geo today sadly we're in different groups today um but i'm with like emily moon i think i'm with ashley i'm with kieran i think i'm with amanda I'm with, like, everyone's nice, like, I love everyone. And yesterday was so nice to actually meet everyone. Like, I probably met, like, over 30 people yesterday. And it's really nice to actually meet people and, like, so many new people that have come on from, like, summer shredding competitors and everyone is so nice. Like, genuinely so nice. And I'm not just saying that. If I'd had a bad experience, I just wouldn't say, but I genuinely haven't had a bad experience. Everyone has been really bloody lovely. We've got a meal tonight with all the other athletes and our managers. We did do some upper body and then we just went out for food last night and we got back at like half 10. I didn't say it at the start of this vlog. I feel like I just started off the vlog and because I'm vlogging, I was in the room with Gio. I get really uncomfortable vlogging in front of other people sometimes. Now I feel fine, but first I was like, oh, I'm scared. But I just wanna say, obviously, thank you so much to you guys because I wouldn't be able to be an athlete for Alphalete or be able to come on these trips without your support and if you follow me for a while you will know like I don't get these sorts of opportunities often so I am really really grateful like honestly the photos and the videos could come out having me looking like an ogre and I honestly probably wouldn't care because I'm just excited to be here like some of the photos in 2022 I was like oh no because I was in some of the wrong sizes but at the same time I was like I don't care because it's just really exciting and I'm really really grateful to be here which is <clears throat> solely because of you guys so Genuinely thank you so much. You are just the best bunch of the best bun. We've got a typical girl, girl room, typical, typical girl room going on. So we've got, we've got some stuff in the background, but yeah, we're gonna head to, um, my sh my call time is 12 today. And with Kieran, ice bath cunt Kieran. <laughs> we didn't go with Christine yesterday. We're on very different shoots. Like she's on the last ones of the day and I was on second yesterday and first today and the gaps were like really big yesterday like it was a few hours gap so anyway i will take you along on a shoot day with alphalete proper vlog style today for the tube um but yeah we went for like a little stroll this morning it's so nice around here as well like my serotonin levels right now sky high pack up my little backpack i know i said when i reviewed these that i'm not really a backpack girly converted because i love my duffel bag but it's so when you've got so much stuff on it having a duffel bag on your shoulder first of all it's annoying because it just like bangs off your leg when it's got that much stuff in it but second of all it's quite uncomfortable whereas when you've got a backpack it feels like you're balancing the weight of it out i honestly think like for stuff like this and maybe even for my gym bag i think i might be converted to the backpack so i'm gonna pack her up with like my gym fit that i want to wear today um and yeah let's go let's go shoot some content oh my god the puppy yesterday you'll have seen that you'll have seen that let me not get distracted um but yeah welcome to another day in houston texas <laughs> This is the outfit I've got on today. This is this new seamless. I'm trying not to use my phone like because it's dark because we're doing video, but it says Alphalete on the front. It's basically like a seamless version of the strappy bra. And at the back it's adjustable. I'll put in a better picture so you can see. And then they've got these new zip ups which are like fuzzy on the inside. There's no hood, remember. But they're actually really quite cute. I'll check what size this is, I'm not sure. Some with logos on as well, and then this is new contour. And these shoes were so hard to get on. Like, so hard to get on that Kieran, who is there, literally had to put my shoe on for me. But yeah, this is a new dark green colour contour. Kind of reminds me of Oak, but a bit more green, but yeah. Oh my god, it's everyone's favourite. <laughs> you guys. 
Yeah. Oh, dang, they got it. <laughs> oh, wow. This is really good. This sink to oak. Oh, that's where you fuck up. It doesn't look any good. <laughs> no, oh my god, <laughs> Good morning, it is Thursday today and we've got an exciting day today because we've got the design meeting. I've got reels to do, I've been asked to do product shots before which I'm really, really, really excited about because I'm a little bit scared. I've never done them before but I'm doing them with Kieran and he's nice so I'll be fine and I'm pretty sure it's the new sweat set so I will try and get some BTS. I don't know if I think I might be able to film the design stuff but I don't think I'm going to be able to put it in this vlog so sorry about that but I might save it for like when the stuff launches because I think it would be quite cool to have that as content. Um, I am violently hungover because we went we had like the 90s party last night um, and I will also put in a little bit of vlog footage that I did on my phone. Christine what have you got on? What look did you go for? So 90s. I went with Vicky B. You went with what? Vicky B. Oh, on She's 45. I'm 45. Do you have any? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the bag. Guys, get those assholes back. I'm trying to hide myself. I'm hiding. Lorraine! You're not hiding from me. Who do you relate to? Are you You've got one. There's one drink. It's not going to be that. I'm going to sit. I'm going to convince you. I'm going to face my lipstick in that. Oh, sorry. Cheers, everybody! Cheers! Cheers. night let's put it that way i only had like four or five drinks but i never ever ever drink and a baby guinness shot and a tequila shot but i never ever ever drink so when i do drink things go to my head quite quickly and i was to be fair not i can remember everything i wasn't like blackout drunk but i was a little bit tipsy i was a little bit drunk um we got french fries at the end of the night me and christine were just sat yapping in her room it was a good day. We did like team bonding and stuff yesterday in the afternoon as well. Um, but like with vlogging that sort of stuff, I just want to not film too much. It's hard because I want to show you guys what we're doing, but then at the same time, I don't want to be like, I don't know everyone that well. And I don't want to like shove a camera in the face. Other than Gio, because with Gio, I'm just like, she's British. She can deal with it, you know? So I will take you along today. Hopefully I can get you some behind the scenes of some shooting. Um, but yeah, I don't have my eyelashes on yet today because I feel quite swollen So I want to wait for that to go down before I put them on plus I'm not actually doing any shoots until like two so I felt a little silly and I've not done my hair yet either for the same reason. So yes, welcome to Thursday of the vlog. I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit more today and tomorrow because I feel like so far I've not vlogged a ton but like I said, it's hard when you're just meeting people for the first time, but yeah, we're gonna Watch the vape shop so Gio can get a bit. <laughs> Slay. And then we're gonna get an Uber and go to the land. Daddy needs a vape. <laughs> Not daddy. 
Hi to the vlog, Christine. Hello, Paul. Ariel, say hi. This is Ariel. Hi. Gio. I'm not in a good way. <laughs> She's not well. <laughs> I certainly had the camera in my face earlier that designed me. Oh, oh my god, it's still zoomed in. Okay. Me and Kieran are doing product shots at the moment, so I've got on the new sweats. They're like, this is the grey. I'll insert some footage of the blue. Actually, Kieran's shooting the blue right now. One second. This is this is the blue. I really, 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 really like the blue. It's a lot more subtle, whereas the grey is a lot more obvious. Let me show you in the mirror. This is the sweat set. So we've got some more straight leg sweats. These pockets are like much better. Still got a thin bit here. <laughs> but you guys know how I feel about pockets. Um, and yeah, I think I'm wearing a size small in everything. They're definitely not as long as the Origin sweats and they also feel like they, they're a bit more structured. I don't know if you can tell, they're not quite as like flowy. They feel a little thicker. This is the hoodie. I actually quite like the hoodie in the grey. I just, yeah, by the way, that's the details on the back. These kind of cut me off weird. I'm not sure how I feel about it. And then you've got like the Unity logo on the back. But yeah, me and Karen are doing product shots. Let's go see him. There he is. They will do the shots. Make any adjustments that they need to make. I don't know if anyone else finds this interesting, but I find behind the scenes really interesting. They take the picture here and then it comes up on the screen here. So they can see if there's anything they need to change or reshoot. But yeah, Karen is doing bottoms details for men's. Not me and my videographer era. Too high? Wait, which one's zoom? Hi, Amy, we love you. Amy, so cool. Oh, I thought you were telling me a secret. Oh, no. Hey, Amy, you need a mic, by the way. And he doesn't like your lens. Your lens, you need a new lens. We are at the gym. It is, what day is it? It's Friday today. We have just done a workout, so I'm going to pop in some clips of the leg day here. Yeah. I'm a rock out to the day a nigga Lee Earth Supreme canvas pants skid roll on the t-shirt All these hatin' niggas sweet and make your teeth hurt Last one standing and I know they mad that we first Out of sight still residing on the south side But it's still love for the north I was outside Stand on the bitch tell her jump she say how high I hope you move walk you so a nigga had to downsize I'm a rock out to the day a nigga Lee Earth Supreme canvas pants skid Roll on the t shirt. All these hating niggas sweet and make your teeth hurt. Last one standing, and I know they mad that we first. Out of sight, still residing on the south side. On the south but it's side. still love for the north. I was outside. I was Stand outside. on the bitch, tell a jump. She say hi, hi. And homie, move walkie. So a nigga had to downsize. Expect you to understand, I think different like an apple ad, need a hundred grand. I could care less about the thoughts of another man. The nigga stretch the truth, just a pot like a rubber band. I'm authentic, I'm all in it. They keeping tabs like they bartending. Watching moves in South still ain't got a small village. A tight tribe, been trust in my mind's eye. You got a car for you walk, but nigga, this time flies, money talks. And trust me, I've been through them silent nights. Now we hold the conversations with Ben Franklin. 
Brooklyn on the flight While we glide across the nation, new location overnight All we do is live at night, get fly, get high Get drunk, then drive, how the hell we make it home? Only by the grace of God, do she love me, love me not? Just some questions of the past, now my future got my heart This my season, that's the reason they finna try to throw salt, nigga Rock out to the day and nigga lead Earth Supreme canvas pants, skill roll on the t-shirt All these hate niggas sweet and make your teeth hurt Last one standing and I know they mad if we first Out of sight, still reside in the south side It's still love for the north, I was outside Stand on the bitch, tell the jump, she say hi, hi, hi move walkie so a nigga had to downsize they don't fuck with us and we don't fuck with them. And I don't need them too, I got my brother in them. But it's our last full day, so we've just been to Alpha Eats. I don't know why, every time I come here, I get like shakes and stuff. And then I always want food, but I never want to do it until the last day. So today I got my penne vodka pasta, which is like one of my favorite things that they do. Um, I really like the chicken quesadillas as well. Those would be my top recs, but this is the gym fit, if anyone was curious, I've got on my cashmere shrug, my sand strappy, and my sand uh, contour shorts. But yeah, we went for tacos last night with Marine. <laughs> we were trying to learn how to say his name because I don't want to be, whoa, what is going on with my face? Marine. McGee. But yeah, but he, but yeah. I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, we went for tacos, I went to Whole Foods, and then we sat around the pool. Obviously, we didn't get in the pool, but just sat around the pool, just yapping, talking shit. Um, I had reels yesterday, which was a seed, product shots, the design meeting as well, which I actually can't put in this video, because I want to put this video up before then. But I'll save the little clips I got for when I can post them. I might put it in my turkey vlog, which you guys are going to be getting sooner than you might think. It's gonna be coming like next month because it's finally gonna be here. I can't say anything other than this is my Roman Empire. And if you know my Alpha League content well, you, you can take a stab in the dark and you can guess, but we're gonna go upstairs. It's a men's design meeting finish. I'm not even said I'm with Christine. I'm with Christine. Hello. Hello. Um, I think the men's meeting, is it 12? Yeah. The boys are taking yeah. up the VIP room and I want the water. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go and get a water. We are about to head out for the final supper. It's gonna be me, Kieran, uh, Marine, Christine. I think Bella's gonna join us as well. Anyone else has basically left. We were like, if you wanna come for dinner, come for dinner. So we're gonna go to dinner. I'm gonna leave my camera here just because I feel like it's a bit big to lug around with me. But yeah, I redid my makeup so that it looks a little more fresh. And yeah, we're gonna go for our final supper because all of us are leaving tomorrow. Anyone with eagle eyes will be able to tell I'm now home. I'm actually currently editing this video and I've realized I didn't finish it off. So on Friday we went for food and froyo afterwards. But honestly, I feel like this vlog is a little bit higgledy-piggledy. I wanted to vlog as much as possible and try and get you guys some sneak peeks and show you what it's like. But also because this is the first time Alpha Elite have ever done anything like this and I've never been on a trip with them before, I really wanted to be conscious of not like being like on my phone too much or like trying to like get my camera out all the time. I really wanted to, especially like I struggle with social anxiety. Some people might not believe me, but I actually genuinely do. And I will use things like my phone as a crook. So I was trying not to do that, which meant I maybe didn't film as much as I would have liked her, but I'm quite proud of like how well I like stayed in the room, if that makes sense. And it's honestly crazy. I cried when I left because I didn't want to leave. I get homesick every single time I go away usually but Houston is one of the places that I just don't get homesick when I'm there. Like I honestly could have stayed, like I I honestly genuinely could have stayed. Uh, I just really, really like it there. I had the best time and it's honestly crazy. Like I was thinking about this on the flight home. I used to watch all the like vlogs of all the trips that they used to do. Like I really remember when Alpha Elite went to London. Um, 
and they did like a whole meet up thing and it was like all like the OG crew and obviously some of them are still with them so some of them were there, were there last week and I used to watch those videos and be like wow like I mean this will never be me because I never thought I'd have like the confidence to put myself sort of out there on YouTube or anything like that but I would have never ever ever like as much as I used to love watching those vlogs I would have never thought that I would end up on one of those trips like I used to watch Christian's vlogs all the time and like when he'd do like his little business chats at the end about how things work at Alpha Lee, I'd be like god that's so interesting and I was always such a I don't care if anyone finds this cringe I was such a fan of Alpha Lee as a brand I was such like a fan of Christian as a person not that I'm not a fan anymore I'm probably I'm more uh not a fan but like now that I've met him he's actually where I don't think he comes across not nice on social media but he's a lot he's not what you would expect in person in the best way possible and it's honestly crazy like I'm not gonna do this whole like oh I'm yeah, oh, Bradford BD2 like I haven't had uh I haven't had like maybe a typical Bradford upbringing however did I ever think that like being from Bradford I would have opportunities like this no did I ever think that I would be in rooms with people that I ended up in last week no and I'm so fucking grateful like so grateful I had the best time um you guys that are like a little bit closer to me will know that sometimes I get really upset and I feel like I'm not like I don't like fit in with the brand or like the aesthetic or something but last week I wasn't even worrying about that I just felt so at home with everyone and for the first time and I've been with them for four years now it really felt like a family last week which I think is something that I think I'm okay to say I think they have been missing it's never I'm sure it did before like Covid maybe but it never ever really felt like a family to me and that's not to say I didn't like the people that were on the team it's nothing to do with who's been cut it's just to do with the fact that we never do things like that you know like I have been on one photo shoot in four years like I don't spend time frequently with the team so for the first time it really felt like a family and I'm really 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 excited for the general direction that Alpha Lee are going to be heading in and I'm so grateful to be a part of it I never ever 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 thought I'd be able to do stuff like this I've said it before I said it in my Houston vlog last time but when I started my YouTube channel I started it because I'd always wanted to start YouTube but I was so scared of like what people would say and to cut a very long story short I'd had like a massive situation go on in my life that ended up meaning that I was just like I actually don't care anymore like what's the worst that can happen someone's going to screenshot a video and send it in a group chat so be it like I'm I don't want to get to 80 and be like oh there's so many things I didn't do but I was so scared that Sally was going to screenshot it and put it in a group chat and chat shit about me and I was like so it sounds weird but I was so low that I was just like fuck it like it can't get much worse I'm just gonna make a YouTube and I did and my YouTube will turn five this summer and it's crazy like the opportunities that you guys and this platform combined have afforded me is insane and it's something that I never ever ever thought would be possible and I've always said this but I really do mean it the best thing to come out of this is the community that we have built up together because like I said my YouTube was sort of born out of me feeling like I didn't really have that community anymore and we slash you guys have just created this amazing community together like we might be small but we're a mighty little community I appreciate you all so much like whether you've only joined in the past month whether you've been here six months a year two years five years some of you have even been following me on Instagram before I started a YouTube just when I was at uni working in nightclubs like honestly like thank you so much for everything I never ever 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 thought as a girlie from Bradford I'd be going on these sorts of trips forever fucking grateful so I want to round off this video by just rounding up obviously I've put in loads of sneak peeks throughout so please go back to catch those again but I just want to round up um any sneak peeks I can give you about the birthday sale the, so the birthday sale will be the 24th I don't have a pdf yet we've not been able to order yet but as soon as my stuff comes and I'm able to order I'll be doing my order and I will get a haul up for you guys um so yeah it's going to be the 24th I, I don't know discounts or anything yet but as soon as I get information I post it on Instagram first so if you're not following me on there it's just at Amy Rooks and I post pretty much everything on there like I've mentioned we have got contour so the main like drop it's an amplified drop it's not aura it's 
contour so there's a really bright green which is sheer as fuck like i i'm still gonna get it but we'll see how that one pans out um like a more yellowy light green a dusty green sort of looking color sort of like an oak color but more green it's giving more like darkest pine in a way definitely not a straight up dupe but it's more close to that than oak because it's not quite as dull i think there's an even i think there's another green but i'm not 100 sure a whale blue looking color i did see a purple sort of like a little bit lighter than dove like that sort of a color but i only saw it in bras i didn't see it in bottoms um you've got these baby doll tees which are not compressive at all they're not compression shirts um they hit you at a really nice point they are they're not full length but they're not really cropped either they sort of sit perfectly with amplify and they make you look insane that's probably actually one of my i think it is my favorite thing that i saw when i was shooting um you've got the new minimal strappy bras which I've, i'll have put in they do have slits for padding but i don't know if they're going to come with padding contour bras deep v bras um you've got the five inch shorts and the leggings there isn't any bikers in this drop sweat sets you've got shorts you've got straight leg joggers you've got hoodies you've got zip ups um, some of them are ombre, some of them aren't. The zip ups and the shorts are just coming in plain colours, not ombre. The hoodies and the joggers do come in plain black, but the other two colours, it's a grey ombre, ombre and a blue ombre. Um, the inside of them is like fleece lined and because of that, they fall a lot more structured. They're not as flowy as Origin, for example, and they are definitely warmer. I don't know if it's just because I was scared to do product shots and I was sweating, but I was really, really, really warm doing the product shots. So they are definitely a warmer set. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. There's like loads of men's tees and all that sort of stuff dropping, but that is the main bulk of everything that's coming on. I'll have put pictures and clips in throughout. So if you've missed anything, go back to the bit where I've got like two pieces of hair here and I'm sat in the hotel room talking because I put a shit ton of pictures in um, and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, I think I'm going to leave this vlog here. I'm so, 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 so grateful to you guys for allowing me to go away on this trip. Like it means so much to me like i said especially those of you that are a little bit closer to me in the dms in discord you will know how much trips like this mean to me like it really 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 means a lot i've massively struggled with like my confidence my self-esteem um for a multitude of reasons i think but i do think one of them is just not really always feeling necessarily included it had me feeling a little bit sort of questioning my appearance and if i was like the look that they wanted or you know, it can be really, really difficult in that sense. Um, but obviously I would take those trials and tribulations over any, like a lot of other problems any day of the week. I don't want to come off ungrateful with that, but it really does mean a lot to me. It was a super special trip. It's something I'm going to cherish forever. I hope we get to do more, um, you know, God willing, if I'm still with the team by the time the next one rolls around. Um, and yeah, just a massive thank you to you guys. I would not be able to go on these trips without you guys. It doesn't matter how long my holes are, how much depth I give, how much work I put into them. If you guys weren't being so receptive of it and supporting me and using my code and letting Alphalete know how much you enjoy my content, I wouldn't still be with the team, uh, especially having a smaller following. I can't necessarily bring them the most brand awareness. So the support really, really, really means a fucking lot and i'm incredibly grateful like i'm i just keep saying i'm so grateful so i'm probably going to shut up now and love you and leave you but yeah it was an amazing week i've made some amazing new friends i'm so excited for like the future of alphalete and excited for where i fit in with that as well but yeah i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching birthday sale 24th of feb be there or be square